Good morning and welcome back to part 7 of our VPC playlist. So in this video we are going to learn that what are net instances. Net stands for network address translation. So let's start. So now let's talk about net instances. Net stands for network address translation. A net instance is like a bastion host. An EC2 instance that lives in your public subnet. So uh, through bastion host as we know that we are going to do SSH into our private instance instances. So uh, net instances are same like bastion host. A uh, net instance, however, allows your private instance outgoing connectivity to the internet while at the same time blocking inbound traffic from the internet. So net instances allows EC2 instance to access the internet which are in your private subnet. Then net instances should be launched into public subnet. You must disable EC2 settings called source destination check. So whenever you create an instance of your net, then you have to go to your settings of the EC2 instance and there you have to first of all disable the setting which is called source destination check. Then you have to attach a electric IP to your net instance and your route tables should be properly configured. So now let's go to the example of our net instance and see that how it actually works. So first of all here we have a virtual private cloud and inside the virtual private cloud we have the public subnet and the private subnet and in the private subnet we have two private instances created. The first IP of the private instance is 10.0.0.40 and the other instant private instance IP is 10.0.0.30. So, two private insta in instances are created in the private subnet. We have a server. Uh, so, the private instance is going to communicate to the server. And the IP of the server is 50.61.5.19. So, now let's see that how the private instance is going to connect to the server. So, first of all, we have a security group of our net instance in the public subnet then we are going to create a net instance into our public subnet then we are going to attach the elastic ip to the net instance as i told that elastic ip should be attached to our instance so the ip is 12.35.54.76 so we are going to attach the elastic ip then first of all the communication will start so the private instance is going to request to communicate with the server so here the source will be 10.0.0.40 and the destination will be the server of course as the private instance want to communicate to the server so the source will be the ip of the private instance and the destination ip would be the server's ip then next it will reach to the net instance and the net instance will forward that request to the server right so here the source and destination will be the source ip will be the net instance ip which is the elastic ip which is 12.35.54.76 and the destination ip will be the server's ip which is 50.61.5.19 then next after requesting after forwarding the request to the server the server is going to respond so the server is going to respond to the net instance so here the source will be of course the server's ip as the service is responding which is 50.61.5.19 and the destination ip will be the net instance ip as it is responding to the net servers as it is in the between so the ip of the destination will be the elastic ip of the net instance then after the response is reached to the net instance. The net instance is going to forward that is response to the private instance which is there in the private subnet. So here it will forward the request or we can say it will forward the response of the server to the private instance. So here the source will be of course the elastic IP through which the request is being forwarded and then the destination will be our private IP. So this is way our net instance works. So now let's move on to the hands-on and let's create a net, uh, our own net, net instance.
So now let's move to the demo of our net instances. So here in this video, we are going to provide the internet to our private instance through the net instances. So first of all, for that, we have to create a EC2 instance for net instance. So let's launch the instance. Click on launch instances. And here, we'll name it as net instance. Let's scroll down and let's go to the OS images. Here, we have to choose the net instance OS image. So click on browse AMIs and here we have to write net and click on enter and here we are able to see 286 plus results in our community AMIs. So click on it. Here we are able to find many different AMIs of net. You can choose any one uh, which you want but the name would be should be Amazon AMI VPC net 2018 and the architecture should be x86 underscore 64 EBS right we are going to choose the latest version of it so you are we are let's find it so okay this is the latest version which is published so it is 2023 323 right so it, that architecture is x86 underscore 64 and the name is of course Amazon AMI VPC Net 2018. So let's select this Net Instance AMI. Let's click on select and it will be selected here. Right. So we are able to see our AMI of Net Instance. So now let's move to our key pair. So I'm going to select my demo key pair which we have created. And of course we have to edit our network settings. So click on edit. We are going to choose here our demo VPC, which is this. And we are going to create that in our public subnet A. The net instance will be created in our public subnet A. Okay, we have to also create a security group. Let's change the name of it. So it will be more readable, which is net instance SD. Right. So make sure that you change the name. So it will be identifiable that this security group is for our net instance of course we are going to change the inbound rules also first is the ssh rule we are going to keep this rule and we are going to add one more rule so we are going to use your http so let's find http here okay and then we are going to choose here we are going to give the cider block as 10.0.0.0 0 slash 16 right and we are going to add one more inbound security rule for HTTPS also as we want to do the request from HTTP and HTTPS both right so we're going to choose uh, HTTPS also and here also we are going to keep the same block as we have kept in the HTTP one which is 10.0.0.0 slash 16 right now we have added two security uh, rules extra which is HTTP, HTTPS and here first is the SSH1 right now you have to edit the VPC also keep in mind keep this in the public subnet A right you have to change the security group name and you have to first of all your first main thing in here is you have to change the OS image you have to give the AMI of your our net instance okay so all the things are set now other all things we are going to take as a default only right and now let's create our net instance so click on launch instance and let's wait till the net instance is created it is in a pending mode let's wait till the instance gets in running mode so our net instance is created successfully and is in running mode right so now we are going to provide the internet to our private instance using the net instance so first of all before that i have told that we have to change a setting into our net instance so let's do that first so click on the net instance and go to the actions part here in the networking part we have to click on change source destination check so here we have to stop it this is very important we have to disable the source destination check so click on stop and save the changes 
right so we have edited our net instance setting now so now let's go to our bastion host so we can access our private instance from there and then we can provide internet to the private instance through the net instance which we have created so now let's go to our bastion host and connect click on connect right let's connect our bastion host so let's wait till it gets connected okay so our bastion host is connected now so let's do ssh into our private instance as we want to provide internet to our private private instance through the net instance so write the ssh command which is ssh ec2 hyphen user at the rate we have to take our ip of private instance so let's go to our instances and copy the private instance ip so paste it here and we'll specify the demo key pair here right and let's ssh into our private instance okay so we are in our private instance now so let's clear first of all so now let's do ping here ping google.com and let's see that we are able to access the internet or not so still we are not able to access the internet so we have to now change our root table first of all of course without editing the root table we will not be able to provide internet to our private instance through the net instance so now let's go to the vpc console and let's go to the root table part so we have to edit the private root table here so click on private root table and go to the roots part we have to edit the roots part so click on the added root part here we have to add a root which is saying 0.0.0.0 slash 0 so whatever request comes from ip excluding this cider block the request should be forwarded to the instances which is the net instance right so whatever request comes excluding this uh, cider block ips the request should be forward, forwarded to our net instance right so we have to add this rule and all the requests excluding this ips will be added or will be forwarded to our net instance which we have created that will give the internet to our private instances so let's save the changes and let's add the rule in our private root table so the rule is successfully or we can say the route is successfully added in our private root table so now let's go to our ec2 instance of bastion host and let's again ping google.com okay still we are not able to get the internet access from our private instance so of course we have to edit the inbound rules of our net instance as we have to add one icmp rule so let's go to our net instance and edit the inbound rule of it so let's go to the security part and down here we will be able to see the inbound rules so we have to edit it so let's go to the security group of it and here we have to edit the inbound rules we have added the http https rules but we forgot to add the icmp rules which is for ping command so let's add the rule and here we are going to choose all icmp from ipv4 ip addresses right and we are going to choose here the block of 10.0.0.0 slash 16 right so now let's save the rules okay so we have added the icmp rule into our net instance so now let's go to okay it started right i don't have to again uh, give the command as i didn't stop that so here we are getting the internet from our private instance right so we are able to ping into our private instance right so the internet is accessible here so this is how we can get 
internet accessibility into a private instance through the net instance this is this will be more easier when we use the net gateways in further video we will see that what are net gateways and how to do this all things how to provide internet to a private instance directly through net gateways this is bit older and bit difficult or we can say bit complex thing but through net gateway it, it will be very easier and fast so that's it for the video this is how you can provide internet to your private instances through the net instances so meeting you in the next video